Welcome everyone. Hi guys, I'm gonna uh, continue my <laughs> restoring, restore my table. I basically found the table um, on the grass near the garbage for free and I decided to make from that table masterpiece. I mean, piece of art, art piece, something what I can be proud of. I actually really love to make something, you know, not just go and buy something, hey, buy something in the store. I like to like feel, wow, I made it, not just paid for that money. So <sighs> welcome to my garage. And this is um, Thomas. <laughs> my new coffee table i'm actually kisses mexico city <laughs> i'm actually not really um i don't know i'm not gonna put this table <laughs> put this table somewhere in the house because i don't have a like perfect place for that but I decided to make a video about it because I love to paint and do something with uh, interior design, decoration. Maybe I will paint it and put in some bedroom, but not in the living room. So basically I'm uh, putting uh, one first layer right now it's gonna be gray but in the end i, I want to paint it different colors multicolorful you know hmm <laughs> you don't know because i have no idea what's gonna happen it's always without any plans it's like how you feel but uh oh i'm of course <laughs> thank you i'm of course full of this paint already and it's so curvy i mean curvy legs it's pretty hard to put with put paint inside this little tiny baby lions mm, but i decided to just paint a legs and the top is gonna be complete creation with uh, I think green and pink. I like green and pink together, but it's supposed to be like good uh, shades. It's supposed to match. So, 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 so. I don't think that people are supposed to like be afraid of uh, do art if you eat, like never ever try it uh, you can uh, definitely um, just go for it because any mistakes what you can possibly do it's still gonna be your practice your experience and i believe anyone can do it yes not maybe anyone could have uh, like art skills or ability to paint something like exact like paint a uh, horse or face or some landscape or house is different but just paint with the brush on the top of piece of furniture why not if you have an old um, kitchen's cabinet but it's just solid wood and it looks like you know orange yellow color it's old-fashioned not everyone like it now and it's pretty easy to just paint it in something like white or black or gray redo like remove um how it say this like accessories mm, i forgot how it's called whatever whatever we need to be together Ooh. yesterday cooked a lot 
I like doing video. Yesterday, I saw... Uh, hi, Brazil! I saw a mask for the face. No, not sanded. Sanded, uh, you're right. It's kind of first step. Uh, but I meant, you know, kitchen cabinet doors and drawers on the faces of this cabinet. We have a... Uh, it's like like little pieces we we took it and move it <laughs> we move drawer handles yes thank you <laughs> yes all this stuff you basically can almost for free redo your kitchen's cabinet you just need to go for it and what we need we need brushes we need this stuff oh sorry how it's called roller or how it's called then we buy and paint with primer i mean paint plus primer in one can uh, and we need a uh, van varnish it in the end with a uh, uh, like transparent coating wow right transparent coating vocabulary level <laughs> and then uh, Ta-da! Yeah, undercoat you can do with that basically primer. I'm um, I'm a definitely rule breaker. I'm not person who follow uh, all steps. Mm, I know that makes sense to do all these mm, sanding, priming, coating, all this stuff, but i've done so many things like that in my life and nothing <laughs> nothing was that i mean nobody died if i didn't do something oh wow 5 am good morning <laughs> and um you still can get some scratches even if it's gonna be the highest quality of work and um, the same thing, I've done one console table, console table, I found it for free on the road, it's beautiful piece, nothing was broken, but it just was wood, old, and I redo all this stuff, just painted it, and I didn't find the time, didn't find a time for, um, varnish it because I basically it basically happened when my baby was one year one month old and <laughs> I just didn't do this and I just put on the top of this console table um, uh, glass and it's nothing happened I understand that it's not right but still nothing happened and I always will find the time. I can always redo it. Uh, hi, good night. I mean, we have kind of 7 p.m. now and I'm restoring an old ta coffee table which I found on the grass near my house. Uh, I mean, it was almost garbage, but it's pretty gorgeous coffee table. I don't need coffee table, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm from Russia. Nobody believed me ever here. I lived here for three years and everyone's... Ah, oh, New Zealand? Wow. Wow, New Zealand. I mean, oh my God, oh my God. It's so far. It's so far, but at the same time, closer than if I would leave, for example, in Europe. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm not gonna listen music now because it's... Um, ah, Chorvatia. We call it Chorvatia. <laughs> yes. Croatia, right? 
because I kind of um, still think in uh, names of the countries as a Russian person. So, Khorvatia, Khrvatska, Khrvatska, <laughs> no, I'm horrible in pronunciation, <gasps> Portugal, oh yeah, it's so different time, <gasps> yes, cool, so, guys, I need to be, oh my god, I'm so close to this, camera i need to be strong and like turn the put this table upside down but i kind of injured myself because yesterday i made the masks for face on the sewing machine and um because i had a car accident in my life many years ago i have many um like injured in my back, legs, and I can't really sit for a long time on, or took heavy stuff. So, and recently I bought my baby and I took her from the bus and I just injured myself so bad that two days I literally couldn't do anything. And then third day, oh, San Jose. I wanted to say something all uh <laughs> because san jose it's closer to mexico i want to go to vacation so bad i thinking about mexico or san diego at least how are you guys from san jose uh, because here is kind of hot today how are you san jose probably hotter mm, i remember no i don't i mean I mean what I mean. I need to upside, upside, upside the, this table. So I think I finished with legs because this is what I wanted. Kind of a little bit shabby chic. Not completely. Because if you paint anything completely, you can have a. Mm, it could look like it, if it would be a plastic. Plastic we will see right now <laughs> it's no i kind of supposed to be a normal person and wait until it's gonna dry but i am not that person <gasps> oh my god it's hot oh i've done reaction Okay, spoiler alert, uh, this, uh, this week I've done a Bleeding Me reaction and Turn the Page cover, Metallica's cover, and uh, I'm gonna still do Lover Man, it's cover, but I never heard it, but my husband say that, oh my god, you're supposed to like it, you should do it. So I've done Metallica, but I need to upload it but i want to do so many more things than reactions Darn it. <laughs> uh, well mm -hmm. uh, anyway i really just love this bleeding me can you imagine it's so sexy it's like <laughs> i made cottage cheese uh, do you know guys what means cottage cheese uh i mean the real cottage cheese not what we see in the typical groceries guys it's so easy to make it's much cheaper you just need buttermilk or you even can make buttermilk uh, by yourself well i'm very granny i mean grandma i'm always <laughs> cook like uh if i would be uh, 70 years old from the scratch i love to cook everything from the scratch especially because uh, nutrition facts and it's much 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 cheaper 
I think. Yes. And it's healthier and it's cooler, cooler. So, are we ready? We gonna... Well, how do you like my garage? <laughs> Uh, usually, usually here leave a car, leaves a car, but now we're not driving. Who? <laughs> well, I kind of messed up with something, like always. <laughs> uh, sandpaper between coats and you finish comes out smoother oh you sounds like my father-in-law oh definitely but well let's see i have these sand papers and more and other ones but i just took this one and say fine i honestly didn't sand it i have my own technique really my own technique i just found a way to make it <sighs> enter sandman i have it in list but i have so many things in list so i don't know i can't promise the when yeah well julian <sighs> Argentina, Argentina. So, I'm a rule breaker. I'm not follow these all steps. Um, also, I'm not doing it in like commercial way when I supposed to have everything perfect. My idea is to make a piece and enjoy it. <laughs> Oh, you look like an angel. Yes. Yes. Thank you, by the way. I mean, anyway, I mean, just thank you. <laughs> okay. Mm. No way. Mamachka. Oi, mamachka, blin. Oh. It's so bad. I mean, my back is hurt, still hurt. Well, I made it. You go out from here and I will move you guys right here and show you. <sighs> this is just table like that. You see? Like that. <laughs> uh, what was the question wrapped in the box? But it's just beginning. I'm gonna paint on it. But honestly, <laughs> I'm really tired to do something with that table already. I mean, for today, I... It's enough. I don't know, there is a, a, just a, like storage in the garage with uh, multiple stuff. <laughs> so like every people store something in the garage. I'm free. Vinyl paint. Uh, maybe I need some particular paint, but I'm gonna use a uh, paint which I have. So I have a, a primer with a paint from Home Depot and I used it many times for my dresser and the dining table. Hi, Greece. And I have plenty of acrylic paint, multicolorful. So I'm gonna just paint on the top of the table some patterns or whatever I want. Uh, I know, but the problem, um, 
vinyl paint uh it doesn't make sense in that hi thank you it's not really make sense to me to use something shiny because i'm first of all gonna paint and then i can uh, cover it with a matte or glossy uh, top um, oh my god coating so and 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 about squats i have injury in my hip in my knee in my back many spots in the back so it's not really a choice to make squats or use my back to lift something ah okay how the hell did you end up in us so i i told this story actually i lived in russia <laughs> i um, lived five uh, last years uh ya rodam is krasnodara no ya jela poslednie 5 let v moskve i and so five uh, last years in russia i lived in moscow and uh, there i basically find out an application called smooly karaoke and i sang there uh nobody's fool cinderella's song and um, anyone from the globe during seven days could join me and uh, uh sing with me a duet so um, one <laughs> of that um these people who joined me was my future husband we basically met and um, they gain communicate message each other and then um and then i'm and then i just uh, he just came to me in moscow and we casually lived together in my place i mean in moscow we lived together like six almost six or five months and then we decided to to moved here because he is american he is from here so then year later after living together here he proposed me <laughs> and um, we had a wedding then i uh, like four months later i got pregnant then we had a baby well and i live here for like three years already so this is the story how i how the hell i end up here Who? but in that case it's not really matter where we are so any 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 questions everyone's like keep call keep silence i can breathe like that Гарри, спасибо, спасибо. Не ожидала, что кто-то меня смотрит здесь на русском. Uh, I miss Russia partially uh, just because it's my home and I have a lot of good memories and um, people who I miss. But comparison, I will choose US because you know i many maybe always dreamed about some place on the earth when i can live in a small city 
but um, where you can, for example, have a lot of job offers. It's not like megapolis, like New York, or Moscow. I think San Francisco is small, tiny, but very advanced. Also, I dreamed about live uh, near ocean and have a beautiful nature surround me and good weather, no winter. So uh, I got here and was wondered that it's definitely something what I wanted. But the lifestyle here in, in California changed a lot with uh, all these um, Silicon Valley um, rules. <laughs> And um, I still feel free to explore another state in the US just because um, here it's something like competition. You not, um, I mean, many people with all these prices um, can't fully enjoy. They can kind of have a stress, pressure that you're supposed to pay this and that and it's much uh, higher prices for everything and taxes included um, than if you would uh, like live somewhere in um, in the middle of the states but i think maybe we pay for sun and for the beautiful views when we can have uh, mountains and lakes and these amazingly beautiful plants everywhere, so different. I love, I, I have a friend, she is from Belarus and once, once she just asked me, she lives here, she just asked me, do you really still see um, like lines on the leaves yet? Uh, Oh my God, I missed the question about part of the street, city, sorry. Every time I walk with the stroller and I see all these views and I still every single day kind of feel that, oh, wow, oh, this bird, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Oh, look at this sunset. Oh, look at this tree. Oh, look at this plant. I am kind of this, I'm in still inspired even after three years. And I lived in different locations here, Texas. Mm. I know, but for example, my sister, I mean, I'm in, about Texas. I personally never been there. But my sister, she lives in France and she visited Texas once. And after that visit, she said, no, I don't like United States. It's my, not my thing. There is so giant, uh, everything's so big and everything's so um, like it's kind of desert there or something. I know that Texas is a big, very big state. But I think that California has some something like spirit. When I'm thinking about all these um, summer ninety, like <laughs> ну по русски, но я ведь готовлю все, и в принципе нет такого чего чего нельзя. Здесь найти, но в плане вот продуктов, чтобы приготовить. Ну, то есть, я раньше скучала, а потом просто решила, что я могу это все сама приготовить. Так что, наверное, наверное, уже не скучаю. Ну, разве что вот, что вот мама там борщ приготовит, вот такое. So, what I talked about. Um, summer 19. 69 where hippie movement began uh, and I love that spirit I love that freedom and people who <laughs> a lot of hills rivers forests in the club I guys I have a dream to buy a van and rebuild it 
and travel uh, South, Central and uh, North America. And I believe that um, uh, the United States, it's amazing country to travel on the car, like driving, stop, have a camp, uh, sleep in the car. I feel that I'm more excited about this type of um, the trips, vacation, than just um, pay for the airplanes, tickets, hotels. I want this adventure and I think I'm in the perfect country for that. I know that many people do it in Europe, but in Europe I feel that you want to do the hot, stay in hotel. You want to have some tours, but here I feel confident to explore it. Hi, Chile. Like the past week, yes. I'm sitting like, I don't know where I'm sitting. But for somebody who just came, we paint this table. And I even think I'm going to um, uh, upload a video on YouTube. Why not, right? <gasps> I messed up with my yoga pants. <laughs> These yoga pants made me like I'm still skinny. My daughter, thank you, she is very good. But she didn't like my uh, butternut squash soup. <laughs> but because it has a garlic, maybe she just little too tiny to appreciate a garlic. <laughs> I still... Uh, can't believe that you've been in Krasnodar. Mm. So, unfortunately, I have uh, now very small families, just my mama and uh, my sister. My mama still lives in Krasnodar and my sister uh, for like last eight years already lives in uh, Europe. So I just one day sent them in the um, chat, uh, family chat that so girls, I decided that I'm gonna move to US with my husband and my boyfriend uh, that day. Uh, they know him, they met him. And uh, I say that I gonna study here for a year. Because he was just my boyfriend, right? I didn't know he like proposed me or what. But I told him, I'm not gonna wait more than a year, you know? <laughs> so they was um, kind of fine with that. I mean, uh, of course, my mama very miss us and she recently visited us for a Christmas. My sister will visit us um, like, October, I think. So we keep in touch every day, FaceTime, WhatsApp video, but um, I would like to live closer and maybe one day. But I'm happy here, really happy. But I'm not happy that I messed up with my yoga pants. But cool thing that here, no one's care about how another person looks. But I honestly, I love fashion. But oh, thank you very much. Um, but not like trends. I love it as a phenomenon. 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 Oh my God, I'm just an English goddess. <laughs> And I love to create and here I feel much more free to like feel confident about unique style because 
the place where I'm from, people judge each other. Oh, what she wearing? Why she looks so weird? It's not trendy or it's not like classy it's very weird well <laughs> i like here that no one's gonna say anything i speak english with my husband and i um oh, alabama <gasps> alabama do you know hola chile <laughs> alabama i i i watched zoe hart while i was uh, like one month old mama and <laughs> there was Alabama and I want to go to Alabama because it's so like so different and so I want to um really thank you very much Julian I heard a lot of criticizing I I think I thinking definitely on English when while talking, but I can switch. But in the same time, I'm pretty sure that my uh, language <laughs> level not perfect. I know that, but I can understand everything, and I think I be able to explain explain whatever I want. But I just. One thing when you're talking, another thing when you do like writing and you have a little more time to think about grammar or uh, suffixes. Yes, I like Spanish. My husband actually knows Spanish and we teach our, like speak with our baby daughter three languages. So she gonna be three linguan how it's a biling i for i forgot how it's say but she gonna speak um as like native speaker basically english um spanish and russian yes so i hope we're not gonna give up and because i heard a lot of story yes trilingua Thank you. <laughs> I heard a lot of stories when people say, oh, but my kid don't want to talk in Russian or Spanish uh, anymore because we live here. And he said, I'm all my classmates talk on English. Why I need this in other languages? And I hope we're going to have a strong hugs. <laughs> Uh, she is one year and two months, so she is pretty, pretty tiny, but big already. <laughs> I don't know how to do it, but seeing this. Um, I don't know how it happened that I'm already a mother, but... It gives me so many joy and happiness. And maybe I just have a very cool daughter. She just piece of little bubusinka. <laughs> okay. I oof little bit. Little oh my god. Lamp is gorgeous. Um, so I has a plenty of acrylic colors, but I guess uh, you guys not really interested in um, watching all this process. So I oh my god, this YouTube has has like another filters, and I'm like a loser, didn't use them. Wow, bubbles. <laughs> I'm like a dinosaur, never tried this uh, YouTube uh, live before. So, hmm. oh, no. Iron Maiden, hello be thy name. I already reacted on that wonderful song, but not maybe from this concert. 
Uh, I used to sing in the band, but unfortunately now I don't have a band, but I really want to have a band. But Bay Area is the land for the nerds and entrepreneurs and IT guys, but not for musicians and art people, I guess. I mean, many of them just moved to in other places, the more I see heavy metal band, Metallica Reaction. Oh, wow. Ok, ok, ok. Do 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 do. Rammstein, you know, we have um, rumors in Russia that one singer has a relationship with that uh, lead singer from Rammstein. <laughs> I remember. Mutter. Or. How much, no, how much is the fish? It's scooter, I'm sorry. You should be in England. Ah, really? I thought LA, you know, LA, Hollywood, Despacito, <laughs> not my thing. <laughs> I mean, it's maybe, um, no. It's not my thing. It's like uh, just for jokes, you know? But I like to have fun. Pantera, 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 Pantera. No, Boston Rocks. Ah, really? But there is winter, right? Snow, cold. I kind of feel, oh no way, why you did it? Mm. Let me a drink a little bit. Judas Priest, Exciter, Alice in Chain. Disposable Heroes. But my dream city in Russia, St. Petersburg, I don't want you to know. No. Oh, really? <clears throat> I honestly... Um, no, St. Petersburg, not my city because of weather, but it's amazing. It's beautiful, yeah. But to, you know, for visit, but not for leave. I think I don't, I want to live in the places, even if it's amazing, uh, there with that depressive, dramatic, melancholic, cold, rainy weather. So even Moscow, Moscow is pretty cold when winter and I love sun, yes. I don't know everything what I um, ha like experienced in Russia as a musician, as a singer. I've got um, like our four offers, uh, like contracts with uh, producers or some label, but there was always something very commercial, like uh, R&B band when girls singing and guy read uh, rap, or something very electronic, uh, like uh, DJ um, or David Guetta and C or something like that. And I mean, what I mean that underground alternative uh, rock music, it's not 
gonna win there it's not very popular not gonna earn money for these labels oh, i just go from vacation yeah i i remember you told me but it's it's different all places when you go for a vacation and uh, living there it's just different i love uh, some places like for example wonderful place where i've been it's maldives it was like real paradise but uh i don't know how to live there what i'm gonna do just leave uh, see these islands and uh, ocean white sand and drink this smoothie uh, from the coconut or apple <laughs> a pineapple but what next it's um i mean vacation it's different and life or oh, it's almost dark or oh, sophie it's my daughter oh <gasps> sophie came but who is king Иди сюда. Смотри. Да? Как ты погуляла, малыш? I heard her. She told with me. Oh, I missed some messages. Well, guys, thank you for joining me. I will continue to do my uh, project, maybe, if my husband will allow me to do this. Are you hungry? Hello. 10 minutes? Ah, what do you want? Me? You want me? Yeah. No, I'm I meant okay. <laughs> so I will anyway say you goodbye. Yeah. Hi. This is the lighting I need. Whoa. Ah. <laughs> say you goodbye guys. Thank you for joining me. Have a good day. Have a good night. See you soon, okay? Mwah!